I was looking up Ganondorf versus Dracula on the Death Battle Wiki to see people's thoughts, since this is gonna be one of my favorite death battles of all time. It's Ciro versus Ray Wace is currently the leading champion, but it it might get trumped by Ganondorf versus Dracula. But when I came in here to see people's thoughts, it's just stupidity. It's no one understands the Legend of Zelda verse. It's like they haven't read anything at all. Here's hoping Dracul avenges Bowser. Ignore the fact that he clearly should have won given his superior feats. And boy, does a 3D fight sound awesome between these two. No, Bowser does not have clearly superior feats to Ganondorf. Bowser is okay. Is likely stronger and has higher durability. But people forget that he's dumb and that power isn't everything. The most important things in a death battle are speed and abilities. They're about the same speed. And even if Bowser can travel faster, which is unlikely, Ganondorf can teleport. And he can dodge light arrows, meaning he has faster than light reactions. Bowser probably has something similar to that too. So even if Bowser is stronger and more durable, Ganondorf's magic abilities and intelligence are going to beat him. If you look up wank in the dictionary, you're going to get people talking about Bowser. He's so overrated. People act like his power and his durability beat everything. The only way Bowser beats Ganondorf is if Bowser's given the dream stone. Because then he can just suck Ganondorf into the dream world, one of his many, many dreams, and destroy the dream since he has full control over it. That's the only way he wins. We all vote for Dracula and before Ganon wins. I hope Ganon wins. I fully agree with the one-sided defeat of Bowser, but I don't think Ganon will win a second time. I predict Dracula will win. That's how I feel, too. I feel like Ganon should win a second time, but I do feel like the researchers who are going to hold a grudge and make him lose this fight. And I do agree with the one-sided defeat of Bowser, because Ganondorf's magic and intelligence... Like, he has intelligence, so he knows how to use his magic to beat Bowser. I hope you know that Bowser should have actually clapped Ganon. I think not. Bowser had zero options. It doesn't matter if Bowser could hit gar harder than Ganon ever felt. That is true. Bowser does not hold any holy weapons. He cannot kill Ganon. Ganondorf hacks is pretty powerful, which is true. But Bowser also has good hacks. Transmutation. Ganondorf has that too. He can turn people into Twilight Beasts. Sealing. Uh... I'm not going to say Ganondorf has ceiling, but he probably, he does with the full Triforce, but I don't think he has it with, yes, 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 he does, I'm lying. He has, he can seal people in crystals and a big healing factor. Well, it doesn't matter if you have a healing factor when it can be, wait a second, why am I, it doesn't matter if you have a healing factor if someone can kill you before it I'm not gonna before it completes itself. Like if you, if I do one damage to you, and you no if I if I do one damage to you and your healing factor heals zero point one every second. If I hit you enough times before your healing factor heals you back up to when you can take another hit, you're gonna die. That was a bad example, but I hope you get the point. I I could be able to kill him before his healing factor heals him. I can hit harder than his healing factor heals, that's what it is. So he should be able to blitz Ganon. No, he's not that fast. Bowser is not fast enough to blitz Ganon, that's dumb. Being turned into an immortal portal of guts is a fate that is pretty comparable to death. Yeah, that's an, a disadvantage of type 2 immortality. Even if you can survive, like just a decapitated head, if you're not doing anything that's counting as a loss. But that wouldn't happen. You, you, Bowser wouldn't even be able to turn him into an immortal puddle of guts. Ganondorf has magic to protect him from stuff like that. Bowser has routinely come back from each defeat. One, so has Ganondorf. So I guess Ganondorf has a healing factor now. And two, that's game mechanics. Of course they're gonna bring Bowser back from losing because he's the big bad of the Mario-verse. 
the Mario was just goofy and stupid. It, no one in the Marioverse can be taken seriously. It's mostly joke. You can get really good feats from characters like Super Dementio, Dreamy Bowser, and Antasma. But you still can't take the entire verse seriously. It's too cartoonish. There is no way Ganon's strength and speed is similar to Dracula because Dracula heavy, heavily outclasses Ganon in those categories, and he's better. And he has much better hacks. Also, Bowser should have won because Ganon only having a holy weapon weakness is a no limits fallacy, and has been defeated by other weapons before. Dracula has faster than light reactions at best because. Paranoia is a fragment of his power, and paranoia shoots light-based attacks. That's the only way you're getting faster-than-light reactions out of Dracula. Ganondorf has dodged light arrows. He also has faster-than-light reactions. And strength? Ganondorf's usually doesn't show off his strength, but he does, does have good magical power. He can destroy an extremely large castle, which in this particular situation isn't that impressive but he can also stop the entire rotation of the earth to create an endless night for his hemisphere that's planetary magic power and with the tri full triforce which he does obtain he that gives him universal power dracula has universal power too since he's superior to gallimoth and the time reaper who is going to collapse the castlevania timeline both of them are going to end up being universal they're Dracula does not have that much of a stat advantage. And also, Bowser should have won because Ganon... Yeah, I already, already read that. And that's also dumb. Ganondorf can only be killed by holy weapons. And he has never been defeated by other weapons before. People who think that have never read about Legends of Zelda or played it. No, no, not ever has Ganondorf been defeated by other weapons. He can be hurt by other weapons, but not killed and get death battle went over that and idiots like this don't know what a no limits fallacy is it's not something a character has it's a mistake of a debater if I said it, it, it's when a debater exaggerates a feat to infinity if I said Sonic had infinite speed because he outran a black hole once that's a no limits fallacy I exaggerated a feat to infinity if I said Benton's watch had instantaneous reaction speed because it reacted to the Big Bang. That's a no limits fallacy. I exaggerated that feat to infinity. If an ability is infinity, you can't nerf it. Ganondorf and Dracula's I can only be killed by holy weapons ability is not a no limits fallacy. That's just a certain type of immortality. I'm pretty sure it's type 3. It's type 3 or type 2, one of those. Also, Ganon can't use the decaying curses because he's never shown that. Goma was the one who cursed the Deku tree decay to decay. That's stupidity. No, Goma did not cause curse. Goma has never shown the power to curse things. Ganondorf put Goma inside the Deku tree and cursed the Deku tree. He did both. If you Google search a wank, a picture of people discussing Bowser in the wiki shows up. That's true. That is very much true. Best case for Ganondorf is that they scale him to Majora with his T.O.P. and take the Termina as a parallel universe Majora created is legit and totally not contradicted by other statements. Also, maybe scaling from Breath of the Wild Link, who can parry lasers and us faster than the light on the Guardian Sentry things that fly around so he's faster than light. That would make this fight not a complete stomp at least. Ganondorf doesn't need scaling to Majora. That he Ganondorf has never even encountered Majora, so they wouldn't scale. Ganondorf has the complete Triforce, so that already puts him at Universal. And there's an argument that he's multiversal too, since in the Zelda dictionary, there's stated to be millions of alternate worlds in the Zeldaverse. I, that can be seen as an outlier, and I kind of see it as one too, just stating that the possibility of him having to be multiversal power is a possibility. But he undoubtedly has universal power with the full Triforce. He doesn't need scaling to Majora for that. He also doesn't need scaling to Breath of the Wild Link for faster than light reactions since he can dodge light arrows. It's going to be the closest fight of the season, not a complete stop. 
The Majora feat could be considered an outlier. No, it's not. Universal is normal for Legends of Zelda. It's multiversal for millions of alternate worlds that could possibly be an outlier. Comparing their strength is meaningless if they can never die by them. What matters is whose powers could beat the best the other's immortality first. That's genius. Can Can knows how this works. Props to Can Can. I'm clapping. Ganondorf has the sacred sword or the sword of the six sages, whatever you want to call it, meaning he does have a holy weapon to kill Dracula with. People say Dracula has holy magic, which doesn't make any sense since he's holding holy, and I've never seen him have holy magic before. But in just in case he does, that means they can both buy each other, bypass each other's immortality. Even though, likely, Dracula doesn't even have holy magic. And here's someone else stupid calling it a no-limits fallacy. Dracula God stops Ganon. No, no, it's going to be a very close fight. Ganon can do barely any damage to Dracula. He has the full Triforce, giving him universal power. Yes, he can hurt Dracula. He also has the Sacred Sword. Which can bypass Dracula's holy weapon. Uh, I can only be killed by holy weapon's ability. Dracula has holy magic. I haven't seen that yet. I doubt it's true, but hey, it may be. And soul hacks, that's legit. That can actually beat Ganondorf. But Ganondorf also has the complete Triforce. So if he gets bored of the fight, he can be all like, These games bore me, but this will put a smile on my face. Snap. And Dracula vanishes and dies right there. Bowser's gonna be avenged, boys. He doesn't deserve it. Bowser deserved to take that L. Look, I get this matchup is popular and Dracula wins are great, but does Ganon really need to die this hard for it? He's not gonna die hard. It's gonna be a very close fight. It's penance for Bowser. Bowser, Bowser deserved to take that L. People are just wanking him. Because the Bowser L was wrong and it wasn't. Research team hated Bowser versus Ganon, so this is fight to avenge Bowser. I do think that's going to be the case. I don't want to read all of this. So, pause the video and see that this is something that makes sense. Like, you can read it so you can see something else from Pikazilla, another clap, because this is someone who actually has intelligence. Dracula can literally just absorb Ganon's soul. He also has the AP. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's about to say AP advantage. No, he doesn't. They're both universal. Durability. Um... I don't think so, because the best durability feat we've ever seen from Dracula is getting hit by a whip from a few times, because he normally doesn't tank hits. Ganondorf, however, has had things hit him before, so you can actually get a durability feat from him, like a castle falling on him. But durability for both of them is pretty pointless since they both can only be killed by holy weapons. So, they're even in that place, they're even in AP, in speed, they both have faster than light reactions, they're even there, and versatility. Ganondorf actually has a lot of spells he can use, and I will go over those later. So, no, he doesn't have the versatility advantage either. Dracula also has holy magic. Haven't seen that. Not sure if it's true. I doubt it, though. Strunton and Nocturne Bros are probably researchers on the death battle team that don't read Legends of Zelda, so they think it's a very weak verse and they're stupid. Knowing full well exactly what blah, 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 blah. Dracula will win because sucking out Ganondorf's soul and destroying it. Ganondorf can just wish Dracula away, making it even... Oh, wait, wait. He's saying how the fight's gonna go down. He's gonna say that Dra Dracula's gonna suck out Ganondorf's soul. He's gonna say Ganondorf's power will be placed in the Terraton range thanks to summoning storms. Dracula will be portrayed as a universe buster thanks to the lore. That's also Ganondorf thanks to Legend of Zelda lore. Just gonna point that out, too. Ganondorf won't have the full Triforce and just get the Triforce of Power. Yeah, they're going to screw over Ganondorf by not giving him the full Triforce. I bet they're going to do that. If Ganondorf does not get the full Triforce, he's going to lose. Because without the full Triforce, he peaks at planetary level while Dracula is universal. But they still need to get... But 
because he does have the trifor full Triforce and a link to the past in Wind Waker that needs to be in his arsenal. The pop-ups will say something along the lines of Majora and Demise have potential Starlover feats, but these are vague and ill-defined. Majora's feat isn't star level, it's universal because Termina is a parallel world, and Demise created a pocket dimension. They will explicitly say that the Triforce is just a wish granter and does not increase the user's strength. I do think they're going to say that too, but wish granting is still extremely powerful and it does boost the user's strength. It's the Triforce of Power. There are several different things that each Triforce piece does. Like the Triforce of Courage makes you resist transmutation. You can't be turned into anything. Like, if I wanted to use a spell that turns you into a frog, but you had the Triforce of Courage, it would make you resist that spell. Triforce of Power gives you an unlimited source of magical power, which is like an unlimited magic meter. It also gives you more strength. Triforce of Wisdom gives you divine wisdom and telepathic communication. Each thing, each piece gives you more than just wish granting. Not entirely familiar with both series, but from what I've seen, Ganon tends to range from country to planet level, while Dracula ranges from multi-solar system to universe level. Can we get an F in the chat for Arabian Dio? I can tell you're not familiar with both series. Uh, thanks for admitting it. Ganon tends from ranges from country level to universe level because he has the full Triforce. You might as well just say planet level to universe level from so you get base Ganon to full Triforce Ganon. And Dracula, he's got multi-solar system level since he controls things with countless stars. And universe level because he's superior to the time reaper and stuff. They're both universe level. So, no. Does Ganon have any defense for his soul? Otherwise, he's screwed beyond belief. He's not screwed beyond belief, but he doesn't have defenses for his soul. So, there is a way Dracula could defeat him. He does, Ganon does, however, have the full Triforce. So, to counter the soul hacks, he can snap... Dracula away. Dracula very easily. No, Dracula is not going to win easily. It's going to be a close fight. Nothing shall destroy the evil that is Ganon. I'm. I hope that's the case. As much as I prefer Ganon to Dracula, Ganon is kind of screwed here. He's going to be screwed by people's bias and the research team's grudges. Do you think they're going to include their armies? I do think they are. It's going to be Dracula's army versus Ganondorf's army, and they fight when their armies have been wiped out, kind of like with Ultron versus Sigma and Eggman and Dr. Wily. And that's the end of these comments. They were dumb.